This is an iPod, one of Apple's most well-known and loved products. Unfortunately, no one really uses them anymore because of things like Spotify and YouTube. However, today I will be attempting the impossible and making a scratch game on it. Okay, so, that's right. We are going to be making a scratch game on an iPod. It's not possible, okay? Unless you have some, like, crazy something that can put a web browser onto this and let it have internet capabilities, it's not gonna be possible. I hate to burst your bubble. However, there are other iPods. That's right. I'm talking about the iPod Touch. You can tell that I used it when I was super young because it's got like a really thick, powerful case. That's Mount Rushmore. I took these pictures myself, okay? I'm proud of them. So yes, this is my iPod. This is what we'll be making the game on. I've got Fortnite on this. The way we're gonna be making this Scratch game is uh, th through the web browser. So we're in the Scratch website. I'm gonna sign into my alt again. Dude, this keyboard is so tiny though. Okay, I signed into the alt. Last time I used this account was for the Minecraft video. Let's go ahead and uh, try to create a project on this. Shoot, plan B, turbo warp. Okay, okay, it works. Oh, it's so tiny. This is like impossible to do anything on. So, in this game, you are in the middle of the screen, right? You have to shoot the things that spawn on the edges of the screen. First of all, let's uh let's try to make Oh. After I was done creating the amazing costume for the player, I began working on the game's first script. It's something incredibly simple, it just resets its position and makes it point towards the mouse, but I'm incredibly proud of it. Why is this so hard, man? Okay, we should have clones now. <laughs> okay, we're, we're saving it, I suppose? No, I need this to work. I don't think it's working. Wait, no, it is working. It's just too hard to see. Let me add a backdrop so that it's easy to see. Let's go Neon Tunnel. It's a classic, dude. It works! I've never been happier. Now that I had the shooting out of the way, it was time for the hard part. Enemies. I don't think making the enemies itself is going to be too hard, but on this thing, it might as well be like building an operating system from scratch. Dark green, like zombies. Okay. No. No, no, dude. Am I actually stuck here? Thank God. I got scared. I got so scared. Okay, that's the zombie. <laughs> it looks so stupid. You know, I don't really want to make them spawn from the edges because that'd be really hard. So it should create clones now, I hope. Oh, clones are hidden. They just kind of don't go to random position. Okay. Yeah. 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 Oh my gosh, this is so scuffed. I think that should work now in Sprite 1. And we gotta make a health variable for this guy. A variable named health already exists. Okay, we're just gonna use the default my variable. Okay, if my variable is less than one, then stop all. I think that works. There's one more thing we need to do though. Uh, this needs to be Sprite 3 instead, yeah. Okay, let's save this to my computer. I hate this. We have lost some progress, but hopefully the saves that I took along the way worked. Now I need this to work, please. No. Dude, it didn't save. Restore points. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, thank God. Oh my gosh, dude. Holy crap. Oh my gosh, I got so scared. Okay, I'm so incredibly thankful for Turbo Warp's amazing design. If there were no restore points, there would be no project. Or I'd have to remake everything and have to suffer through this headache again. We have to remake a little bit of code, but compared to having to remake everything, that's awesome. 
I'd much rather just have to remake a tiny little script than have to remake everything and start from scratch. Okay, so we have this, right? And now we'll make the script up here. Now, this time, I'm gonna open full screen, but I'm gonna be much safer about it. So uh, let, let's go ahead and try this game now. So we can kill the, the zombies and it ups our score. Whoa, what is going on here? What is, it's so tiny, what is going on? No, it, it's gonna kill me, I can't shoot it. I'm not gonna fix it. If they get to you, you're just dead. I think we have finally finished project. Would I recommend doing this? No, it's awful, it's genuinely terrible. Like seriously, even if it's like your last resort to ever posting a project again, don't. Now, did I have fun making this? No. Anyways, uh, we do have a slightly functional project. I wouldn't go as, so far as to call it a game. However, it kind of works. And we made it on an iPod, which has like the tiniest screen I've ever used. So making this was an absolute pain. It took me nearly an hour for something that would typically take me less than 10 minutes, but it's an experience.